Hey Scorpio, it's about that time for your May prediction. It's about that time. This reading is going to be for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other placements or you can book your personal reading through the link in my description box, which is my website. This reading that I'm doing for you guys is a service um, that's on my site actually. It's called Monthly financial and love or something like that monthly love and finances or monthly financial and love i'm trying to fix my hair up to how i would like it i need my hair done y'all i need my hair done i do i do i do i need a silk press and a damn trim but in in my state everybody that i've been reaching out to and looking at their websites and this and that all they want to do is install wigs i can't seem to find somebody that would do a silk press and the people that I did find, they, um, they're they booked up already. So it's like a lose-lose. But anyways, so um, this is going to be for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are separated from your love interest, if you are separated from the person on your mind, your love interest, if there's a breakup, a break between you two, space going on, um, your love reading is actually up on my YouTube channel. It's on the live tab, you guys. So it's going to be home, I think, shorts, videos, and this and that. And then it's going to be live. Click the live tab to scroll a little till you see Scorpio and watch your reading. I have that love reading up. And once again, if you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box, which is my website. The service that I'm doing for you guys is the monthly finances and love. You can book it for the month of your choice. It could be May, June, July, whichever month of your choice. All right, you guys, so let's dive right on in it. So my Scorpios. My Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what can they expect from their finances in the month of May, May 2024, this month? What can they expect from their finances? I see you stressing about your finances. I see you stressing about making ends meet. Um, you may be experiencing some type of financial struggle in May where you're going to be stressing like, am I going to be able to pay my rent? Am I going to be able to pay my car note? Am I going to be able to buy groceries even? For the ones who have children, it's like, am I going to be able to take care of daycare or some type of school tuition? Like, I just see um, you stressing about your money. I see you stressing bad. And not only that, I see it could be a mother figure. Maybe your actual mother. It could be, you know, um, a, a godmother even, an, an aunt, an older sister even, a grandmother. I just see some type of mother figure here. Um, this is going to be a separate group or it could be, you know, the same group, but take what resonates, leave what isn't as always. But I see a mother figure is the main thing that's stressing you out when it comes to your finances. I feel like every time you make some money, every time you make some bank, every time you're like, okay, I'm going to put this money towards this bill. I could finally pay off this bill or I could finally pay off this debt. Here comes this mother figure. Like, literally, here comes this mother figure asking, like, you're not going to help your mom? You're not going to give no money to your mom? You're not going to help your mom out? I raised you. I gave you everything you needed. You can't help your mom. Like, I just see you have a mother figure that's always trying to receive some type of help. Always trying to receive some type of damn help. And it's like, that also has you struggling because it's like, instead of you solely focusing on your bills or your kids, your home... It's like you also have to focus on yourself and that mother figure. It's like that mother figure comes around like clockwork. Like <laughs> we have the death card here, Scorpio energy. Um, air sign energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, heavy Scorpio energy here. That could be the sign of the mother figure. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. But even with the, the Scorpio energy here, your energy is coming up. It's like you feel some type of breakthrough coming. Even with this death card, you feel some type of breakthrough coming. You feel some type of transformation period coming. Clarification on this death card. You feel like things are, are about to get better for you. Things are about to start working in your favor. Hold on, you guys. Let me, uh, let me charge my phone. Oh, so I know in the beginning of the reading, I was talking about a silk press and a trim. If there's any, you know, hairdressers in the um, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Tri-State, let me know in the comments, put your email or something, um, or DM me. My Instagram is in the description box. It's also in my YouTube bio, like my actual YouTube channel bio. Um, we can make some content. We can make some content on TikTok. 
Um, I got a good amount of following on TikTok and it continues to grow. So, you know, let me know, let me know. We could do some content. But I see um, with the death card, clarified by the Knight of Swords, I see in May you're finally going to like build the courage and gain the courage to tell your mother or this mother figure, no. I finally see you putting your foot down and you're like, mm-mm. I have to help myself. I have to focus on myself. I have to get my life together. I see you finally, like, you know, putting that foot down. I see you finally speaking, like, I see you finally sticking up for yourself. And I see you had a difficulty sticking up for yourself because this is your family member or this is your guardian. This is someone who took care of you. This is someone who helped you. And it's like, you don't want to say no because, for one, respect your elders. You want to respect your elders. And two, because this person helped you in some way or took care of you. And it's like, I can't say no to them. Like, you feel like you can't say no. You feel like you cannot say no. And um, I see you finally saying no. I do. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I see you finally saying no. I see you finally putting your foot down. I see you st sticking up for yourself. What else can my Scorpios expect from um, their finances in May? What can they expect for their finances in May? One card at a time, please. I see in May you're also you don't you're not gonna be stressing as much about your bills. You're not gonna be stressing as much. I see things are gonna slowly work in your favor, especially once you put that foot down. I see things working in your favor. I don't see you stressing as much. So it could be like in the beginning of May, you're stressing, you know, this mother figure keeps asking you for money, whatever, whatever. And it could be towards the middle of May or towards the ending of May when you finally put that foot down. Um Things will get better. Now, for some of you, this isn't a mother figure. This could be somebody that you're in a relationship, a leeching ass man or a leeching ass woman, a leeching ass baby father. We do have the Ten of Cups here. So it could be a leeching ass sibling, a leeching ass baby daddy, a leeching ass baby mama that is always with their freaking hand out. Hmm. Tell me more. One more card, please. Tell me more. One more card at a time. I do see, unfortunately, you will be at odds with this person, whether it's a mother figure or a love interest. I do see you being at odds for a while with this person, but, you know, it's for your greater good. Like, it's literally for your greater good. You got to start putting yourself first. You got to start focusing on yourself, putting yourself first. You got to start making making things happen for yourself, you know? You have to. Okay. So let's get into um, your love reading. Do -do 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 make sure you guys are liking this video please make sure you guys hit the like button show me some love hit that like button on the live show me some love show me some love let me know if this is your story so far all righty so what can my scorpios expect from their love life in may in may what can they expect from their love life in may you're going to be meeting somebody who's possessive as hell over you. And it's because this person, like, growing up or even currently as an adult, like, they grew up in, in a toxic household where their father was possessive with their mother or their mother was possessive with their father or they watched, you know, their siblings um, possibly even be abused or, you know, try to be dominated by their partner. Like, I just see your love interest. This could be somebody that you will be meeting in May or this could be the person that you're currently dealing with. But it's something about this person where they seen love being controlling instead of love being free, instead of love being, you know, healthy and and um, free in a sense of. I'm not going to control you. I'm not going to control what you do. I'm not going to control who you hang out with. I'm not going to force you to do anything i'm not gonna force you to cut off your friends or your family members or anything like that they didn't grow up like that they didn't grow up looking at healthy relationships so it's like now as an adult they're possessive as fuck they grew up always seeing you know family issues and drama drama in relationships they may have like it doesn't even have to be that they witnessed it it can be something as simple as their mom on the phone with her sister and they gossiping about their love interest 
speaking having too much grown-up talk having too much adult talk around your love interest and your love interest picked up on that and looked at it as normal so i just see it's something about this person they're going to be very possessive in may and i want to know why because are they just have they always been possessive or is something going to prompt them to being possessive with you in may maybe you're going to be going out more i mean may is spring weather where i'm at it's definitely getting warmer maybe you're going out more with your friends maybe you're going out more with your co-workers maybe you're taking yourself out on dates and they don't believe it let's see clarification on the possessive card please why is this here what's exactly happening with this card they feel like you're pushing them away they feel like you're pushing them away they feel like they're uh they feel like it's only a matter of time until they're replaced by someone else. So now they're basically going to try and dictate who you hang out with, where you're going. Like you could be like, oh, I'm hanging out with my homegirls at Chili's and you could be sharing your location with them. They're like, you're not at fucking Chili's with your homegirls. You're at Chili's with a man or vice versa. You're at Chili's with a woman. And it's like, are you OK? I just told you my whereabouts. You have my location. Like, are you OK? I just see this person like not believing you because they think you're about to deal with someone else. For the ones who has children outside of this person, for the ones who do not have children with this person but with someone else, they're worried about you getting back together with that baby daddy or that baby mama. They're worried about you two co-parenting so damn well that y'all end up getting back together. That's a fear of theirs. Clarification on dealing with family issues and or drama. Clarification. This person going nuts. Not you got this person going nuts, Scorpio. We have the Six of Swords and the Hierophant. I'm telling you Taurus energy here, but I'm telling you this person, they didn't see no smooth sailing relationship growing up. They ain't seen no healthy relationship. It was toxic as hell. Always some type of drama, arguing, possibly even physical fights. There was always something. They don't even have to be physical fights. It could just be seeing holes in the wall. Wake up in the morning and there's holes in the wall. And then they remembered, oh yeah, I did hear yelling last night. I did hear them arguing and now there's a hole in the wall. Like just things like that. They didn't see a healthy relationship. And so I'm sort of like taking that out on you. What else can my um, Scorpios expect from their May 2024? I'm not even going to lie. This person, like, they're going to be so fucking annoying, clingy, possessive that their fear is going to damn near come true. Like, they're going to push you into the arms of someone else. And not even in a sense of, well, you think I'm cheating, so I'm going to go cheat. Not even like that. It could be for some of y'all. It could be. But not even like that. I mainly see it's like. You're pushing me away. Now, I don't want to communicate with you like that. I don't want to hang out, out with you like that. I don't want to have to keep telling you my whereabouts and this, this, and that. Like It's like this person is pushing you away. And as they're pushing you away, you're going out more. You're hanging out with um, your friends more. Friends of your friends. Like I just see it's going to come to a point where you're going to meet someone and you're actually going to be interested. And you may not sleep with them. But I do see flirting here and there. I do see, I do see communication. I do see this person piquing your interest. This person could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Heavy fire and air energy here. I just want to say that heavy, heavy, heavy. Maybe that's in your chart as well, but heavy, heavy, heavy. Maybe that's one of your placements. Something about the colors blue and orange is significant here blue like a uh, royal blue teal baby blue sky blue and then the different hues of orange the different hues of like red and orange i don't know what the hell that means y'all would know better than me maybe somebody's wearing blue right now maybe somebody got red hair right now maybe somebody's a ginger i don't fucking know maybe somebody got an orange cat i don't know a, a damn blue iguana i don't know huh? Oh my gosh, this person is literally going to push you into the arms of someone else. We have the two of pentacles. Uh, this is you indecisive. Like, do I want to keep dealing with this person or do I want to pursue this new person? 1444 as the timestamp. 444? 
the number four is significant. The number one could be significant too, but it was 1444, baby. Confirmation. Not them driving you away to the hands of someone else. <laughs> and that's, that's the thing too. Like, that's another thing. Folks don't be understanding. All that controlling, possessive, abusive shit. You gonna, you gonna make a grass look greener. Right now, with that type of energy going on, if it's currently going on or if it's future-wise later down the line in May, that type of energy going on, it's like, damn, this grass looking fucking dry. This grass looking, looking a dirty green. It's looking a dirty, dirty green. It ain't even no damn grass. It's damn near all dirt. And you're going to be looking at somebody else like, oh, their, their grass looks green over there. Like, literally, this person going to have you searching for greener grass. Oh, that grass looks green over there. It looks nice over there. I, I don't want to move over there, but I want to see what's going on over there. What, how they got it so green? Why it's so green? Like, I just see this person literally pushing you away to the hands of others. That's crazy. It be like that, though. Hey, you holding on to me so damn tight. You being so damn possessive. You holding on to me and I'm, I'm slipping out. And that's another thing that I, I tend to tell my clients during readings. Because sometimes I be having to tell my clients, like, you you blowing me up about your reading. You being passive aggressive about it. You blowing me up and whatnot. It shows you're a tad bit too clingy. You're a tad bit too codependent. You, you holding on to your love interest so tight. I know you are. You holding on to your love interest so tight, they're going to slip out your fingers. And then when I do the reading, that's exactly what is being said. You're holding on too tight to the point they slipping out. And you don't know why they slipping out. You're trying to figure out why they slipping out. Whole time, it's your actions. So this person, they're like so clingy towards you, so possessive that they holding on so damn tight that you just slipping out. You just slipping out. All right, so what is my Scorpio's advice for May? We have Grace and Antoinette as the angel card. Grace and Antoinette. Let's read it. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Okay. Okay. So it looks like your spiritual team is trying to tell you, you know, look at this person's point of view. They, they had a rough childhood or, you know, they didn't really grew up seeing true, real, healthy love. look at their point of view of things but me ah I, I mean i would stick it out to a certain extent it's like i'll give you chances to change i'll give you chances to better yourself and become less possessive or less crazy basically but once i see you not changing you gotta go you gotta go you messing with my peace you messing with my peace you try to mess with my damn freedom damn near you over here trying to lock me down like you're the police you trying to keep me in the house, keep me away from my friends, my family. You trying to keep me away from everybody. Mm -mm. So if this person, they're willing to put in the work, then yes, yeah, stick it out. But if they're not, keep it pushing. Your advice is to help heal this situation. See the other person's point of view with compassion. The names Grace and Antoinette could be significant to you. Maybe it's somebody's middle name or maybe it's somebody's actual name. I don't know. This could be the name of the mother figure um, that I stated earlier in the reading. I don't know, but... To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. <laughs> Alright, this is the end of the reading, you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below. Let me know how you enjoyed this reading. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for the support, the likes, the comments, the subscribes, the shares. I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm sending back that support and that love ten times, tenfold. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next reading. Um, once again, if you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box, which is my website. This reading that I did for you guys is a monthly reading, financial, financial and love on my website. Check that out. But have a great day, great night, whenever you see this, you guys. Bye.